Alrighty, well, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Uh, time once again for my pseudo cast, and um, for today, um, okay, um, I didn't really have much planned planned on this one. Uh, I had just I had just gotten through doing a doing a pinball stream, so I I had next to no time at all to prepare for this. So I I just picked this one because it looked good at the time. So this is a. Uh, Tokyo in the night under a state of emergency, although looking at this, um, wonder what the emergency is. I mean, they're all still out and about, so it's not like they're running off in a panic or anything. Okay, but, but like I said, um, this, this is totally on, this is, um, totally unplanned. Um, so I'm pretty much going right off the top of my head. So, but to start with, um, yeah, I, normally I do my pinball streams on Wednesday morning, but just on a whim, I decided to go ahead and do one this morning. Um, reason being, I watched a, I just watched a video, I think it was a short video on uh, pinball history, and um, just that that kind of thing, and so it just kind of inspired me to go ahead and do a stream. So, but it went, went pretty good. I mean, it went pretty good. I didn't do, I actually, no, I think I actually did, did above average. I mean, I definitely wasn't awesome, but I was, I was, I was quite far from the worst. So I'm guessing what they mean by state of emergency is, okay, everybody get your mask on. Cause uh, this video came out three days ago, so. You know, fairly long after the uh, the the vaccine has come out and everything. So. Um, but otherwise, uh, I uh, I started playing a game called uh, Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Fighter Z or something like that. It's a it's basically it's a Dragon Ball Z themed fighting game. Uh, but I I kind of like it. I totally unexpected too. I might have met I might have talked about this yesterday. I don't remember, but. Yeah, it was completely unexpected because the main, I mean, the main reason why I, why I took up that game was just the same reason I played Skullgirls, just to say that I played it. So, but, um, I mean, yeah, I, I played Dragon Ball Fighters for the same reason, but it turned out that I actually kind of liked it. I mean, despite the fact that it's, it's basically a kid's program, I thought it was pretty cool, like, a I found very little of it to be cringeworthy. You know, unlike um, you know, unlike Skullgirls, Fantasy Strike, um, and to a lesser extent, Mortal Kombat. And that that's the mind blowing one right there, because I mean, Mortal Kombat was made here in America, and plus it's it's got adult themes, but yet there were um, there were still a few parts in there that just had me like, really, like really guys, uh. Okay, this is awful. You know that kind of thing, but I found very little of uh, Dragon Ball Z to be to be cringeworthy. So yeah, that was a complete surprise right there. But um, it's it's also one of those where um, you can actually do combos in that game just by mashing buttons. So I found that to be kind of cool. So I don't have to I don't have to hit certain certain but button combinations with total perfection or total perfection or anything like that. I could just mash if I wanted to. And um and it's even um and I'm pretty much going off my blog. I got I pretty much uh I've typed this down on my blog as well, but I mean you get it's even got a of, of all the modes, I never would have expected there to be a visual novel in there. So that really took me by surprise. And it's got a it's got a it has a tutorial attached to it as well. Um, you can uh, you can go outside the visual novel and do that very same tutorial, but you're you're better off just killing two birds with one stone, just by doing the visual novel. But but yeah, once again, big surprise. And um, there's also an MMO aspect to that game as well. Um, you can go. Um, I was really, uh, I was really surprised by the online mode. The online mode is basically an MMO mode, 
it's like an online lobby where you can go, you can chat, you can hang out with other other players. Um, you can even challenge them to fights and stuff. Whereas I'm used to, I'm used to online mode basically just uh, being a list of other players that you can that you can fight with. But that's it. You can't you can't interact with them. There's no other ways to interact with them. You just go up. You just you just go look at this list of players you want to fight, and you pick whichever one. Or you can um you can kind of open your own you can open your own little fight. And then, you know, and then if a player wants to challenge you, they will. But that that's basically all all online mode. That was all the online modes that I saw. But not not in here. It's, it it kind of like, it kind of works the same way a major city does in any other MMO like World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV or Guild Wars 2. Stuff like that. That's how the, uh, the online lobby works here in Dragon Ball. So, I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but yeah, I was completely surprised by this. But, um, so yeah, I think, um, looks like I found my home. At least temporarily, anyway. And, um, oh, also, and, um, I tried to, I tried to do a, I actually tried a close, I think it's a closed alpha, or it's a, a pre-beta release, a uh, game called Rushdown Revolt. Um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to wait a day or two, or whenever it goes into beta testing, cause um, right off the bat, you're forced to do a tutorial. Like you can't you can't even go to the options menu or anything like that to, you know to shit to to turn off the bad techno music. I mean I had eventually, I ended up having to actually. Actually participate in the tutorial itself, uh, pause the, you know pause the game in the tutorial. In order to go back into the lobby, to to make all the adjustments that I needed, so that was a good waste of time right there. I hadn't really, uh, and I hadn't really played the game itself, so I really couldn't tell you how it went, how it went. Like I said, I was basically I was basically in production hell in that game. So yeah, any of you dev, any of you devs that are listening to this, set um. Settings needs to be openly accessible, even in even in alpha testing. I need to be able to go in and, and adjust the sounds, adjust the graphics, adjust the resolution. You know, I don't like playing full screen. I'd rather play windowed. But all of this stuff needs to be available from the outset. I shouldn't have to be forced to do a tutorial in order to get there. Number two. Uh, and it, uh, this is I'm mainly speaking to those that do uh, fighting games. Training mode needs to be an option. It needs to be an immediate option at the outset. Not a tutorial or anything like that. A tutorial can come later, or at least in my mind, the the training mode, and the training mode is already going to have a sort of kind of tutorial in there, you know. I mean, a tutorial or a training mode's gonna have a training dummy that doesn't fight back. So yeah, you can, you can already kind of, you kind of figure out what button does what. So, it, to me, I'd rather have a training mode in there than a tutorial mode. But I mean, once again, options, training mode, these need to be available immediately, even in alpha. I mean, I kind of understand what they were trying to do with this, just to get some kind of. Some kind, you know, trying to sketch in some kind of context in this game, you know, some kind of story. But again, I mean, I spent, I mean, I spent most of my time hopping through menus and uh, then having to restart the game because, you know, because uh, con controller compatibility issues and stuff. So, and um, it was taking the game was taking longer for me to load because it was still in full screen mode. If it was a windowed mode, it would have started up just like that. So. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm having a I'm having a can of V8 Energy peach mango flavored. So. Looks like some of these people have mass, 
have masks and some of them don't. I'm still, I'm still wondering what the hell they mean by under state of emergency. I mean, cause they, they look calm and rational here. I mean, you declare a state of emergency here in the states, and everybody, everybody has a shit fit. It's like, it's like panic mode, and then, and then all gas stations take advantage of this by jacking the prices up. But yeah, that. But to me, but to me, training mode and options needs to be mandatory right at the start. And chances are, and um, I know when I when I play a fighting game for the first time, that's one of the first things I go to is uh settings and training mode, just to give me an idea of what it's like. I'll do the training mode for a little while, and then um, when there's things that uh when there's things I want to know about, then I'll go to the tutorial. You know, then that's where uh, I learn some of the mechanics and whatnot, and the chances are I'll probably take what I learned there. And head back to training mode. Yes, I'm a yes, I'm a training yes, I'm a training mode fiend. So And I guess since we're on the subject, um I actually um this really soured me on uh Street Fighter, the thirtieth anniversary edition. I played this yesterday. Their training mode sucked. Why? Because uh you can't set the dummy to fight mode. You can set him to stand, jump, and crouch, and that's it. Fantasy Strike had the same issue too. You can only set your training dummy to like stand, crouch, jump, or you can have him you can have him set to do certain attacks, and that's it. Wait. No. Fight um, fight mode is mandatory in training. Because a lot of times I want to be able to just simply spar with my opponent. If there was, you know, I'll worry, I mean, I'll worry about this, I'll worry about specifics when it, you know, I'll cross the bridge when I come to it. If I'm having a role problem with a certain enemy doing a certain move, then I'll, I'll worry about that then. But I mean, I'm a new, I mean, I'm a new player. I'm, I'm probably a scrub kind of player too. I mean, I got slow reflexes. So, I mean, you know. I'm basically a walking glaring weakness, I guess would be another way of looking at it. I'm, you know, I'm weak all around. I'm an all around bad player. So, I will just as soon as, I will just as soon as spar with my opponent in training mode than to sit here and try to, to try to find one specific thing that I have a problem with. I'm gonna have a problem with everything. Again, I'm kind of a, I'm basically a newbie fighting game player. Everything's gonna give me a problem, so I would just as soon as set the training mode to fight mode. You know, I'll worry about specifics, you know, as the need arises. But, you know, see, apparently some fighting games don't get that. I mean, and, you know, the aforementioned Fantasy Strike and Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Edition, they don't seem to get it. Or they seem to think that I can learn everything I need to learn just by doing arcade mode. But then comes problem num problem number two. That means I gotta deal with all the fanfare, you know the, you know K O, and then you gotta watch the whole animation of uh of you sitting here, oh, plop 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 plop, you know all that, you know round two, fire, you know. And I think I, I now that I think about, it, I think I've said this in one of my other pseudo casts, but I just feel it appropriate to say it here considering you know can you know since we're on the subject you know I want my you know because I want my training or I want my sparring to be non-stop you know if your health bar empties it just simply refills immediately that's all like I said I want it to go continuously and um, this is also one of the reasons why rivals of Aether 
is probably my favorite platformer game of the very few I've played. Cause um, and you can um, I think um, I think Brawlhalla you can do this too. But uh, you can um, you can set it, you can set the number of rounds in a in a normal in a normal offline match. You can set the number of rounds to zero, and just simply you know, and the game will keep scoring you while you play to a certain time limit. I think uh, more. I think 2D fighters need to adopt this model too. You know, because I mean, I wouldn't. You know, again. You know, and this and this is especially true in my place, in my case, because I suck. You know, on for uh, online modes, other players beat me, just like that. So I don't really learn anything from this. You know. You know, the moment the fight starts, smack, smack, smack. I'm already dead in basically two or three combos. I never knew what hit me. And now I gotta sit here and wait through all this fanfare for the next round to happen. Smack, smack, smack. Well, end of that round. You know, so I would just as soon as... I would just as soon as I uh, have no rounds at all and just play to a time limit. You know, I'm gonna learn a lot more in this kind of mode than I would in, in the standard uh, two out of three rounds. So, so yeah, it just kind of, yeah, it's like some people have masks on and some don't. And yeah, kind of the, and kind of the reason why I'm going with a, going with a street walking video is, um, a couple of days ago, I think it was, I did a, the video was a tour through a Japanese arcade, which wasn't really that, which wasn't really that distracting. But then I made the mistake of uh, my next video, the day after being a, being a walk inside of an American arcade, I could hardly focus. I couldn't even think straight because it was so damn distracting because of all the, of all the American games, some of which I grew up with. You know, just checking all that out, so it was too distracting for me. And oh, 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 I forgot this is a short video, too. Kyoto's most historical area in the rain. Okay, so, but anyway, as it's, uh, as it's 17 minutes now, just a wee bit past the 15 minute cutoff, um, and I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say today, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. So... But uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, But until then, thanks again for dropping by, everybody. And see you all next time.